back once more with another cast. Uh, I know this has been really spotty, but I've been casting and then a new game will pop up and then... Reserve time. You know, all that stuff. But yeah, we are back. Uh, this is Pretty Boy Swag versus Alliance. Pretty Boy Life Swag. I, Dire I, team I know that they were a team who was in the qualifiers that no one had ever heard of who made it through. Now versus Alliance. So this is going to be really interesting already. Oh god. <laughs> what is Admiral Bulldog going to play? As we see a Nature's Prophet, Bounty Hunter, Ten and Lone Druid, and a to go. Man out on their own side from Alliance. Five seconds. It's like Lone Druid's best arrows. Or just out of the pool. Radiance is he going to play Elder Titan? I have no idea. Yeah, Pretty Boy Swag. Looks like they're going for big, big team fight, but also a lot of RNG. Marana, Magnus, Lich, Juggernaut. Juggernaut obviously with the bounces, Lich with also the bounces, but of a beat. Ten ball. seconds Magnus to go. Magnus group them all up, so it's like no, you can't get away. Five. From it. Five seconds. And then um, Elder Tide. Ugh. Dyer's pin. I uh, just ate. And then on Alliance's side, Elder Titan, Crystal Maiden, Chen, and Lifesteal. Crystal Maiden obviously going to be going to RK, I believe, or EGM, I don't know, I forget which one plays Crystal Maiden. And then, I oh don't know, Chen going to be going to RK, I don't know, but Lifesteal going to be going to Loader, and Elder Titan, this might be mid, or it might be off lane. I wonder if we're going to see an off lane Admiral Bulldog. Ten seconds Elder to Titan. go. Five and seconds. It's currently quite interesting comps. I mean, Pretty Boy Swag Reserve has time. quite a few magic damage dealers. So, up against a life stealer, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle that. I think it's going to be quite interesting to see how they handle that. And such... Yeah. So, yeah. I th think that they, um, so they will be able to handle it quite well. I don't know. It depends, though. Alliance, obviously, TI3 winners. So, and probably more favored than Pretty Boy Swag, unless, well, people do like an underdog, so, yeah. That might be something. But Pretty Boy Swag versus Alliance, I'm. I don't know, I don't want to call it already because I haven't actually seen Pretty Boy Swag play. But Alliance, I have seen play quite a bit. And knowing Alliance, they're pretty good at the game. They've got most of their signature heroes, actually. RK or EGM known for his Crystal Maiden, RK known for his Chen, or is it the other way around, I don't know. Uh, and then Luda, known more for his PL. I'd say, or his, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the hero, uh, but he's also on for Lifestyle, and Lifestyle is a very good hero, still amazingly strong, despite all of the nerfs to rage. Ten seconds and Elder Titan, to go. with his strengths and stuff, Five I don't know who's going to be playing Elder Titan though, because he could offlane and mid, Timbersaw. and they don't have an on offlane or mid, and we Radiant see Pretty Boy Swig, Swag. We see Pretty Boy Swag pitting, <sighs> picking up a Timbersaw. Probably to be their offlaner, I'd say. Spirit and alive. they can have a Storm Spirit for S4 to finish off the mid. So that is going to be an offlane Bulba Elder Titan. I mean, Bulba. What am I saying? Uh, Bulldog Elder Titan. And yeah. So Pretty Boy Swag has got quite an interesting team. An alliance, it's fairly standard other than the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit, and the fact that for once Admiral Bulldog isn't going to be playing a, uh, a Nature's Prophet, Lone Druid, Clockwork, or Bounty Hunter. What's that? Okay. So, yeah, this will be quite interesting to watch. Okay, so as for the heroes, we're going to have Loda on the Lifestealer, EGM on the Crystal Maiden, I was right, RK on Chen, and Wolverog on the offlane Elder Titan, you. and uh, S4 on the Storm Spirit, who will be heading to the middle. And on the Dire side, we're going to have Pretty Boy Swag, we're going to have Cakes on the Timbersaw, I'm a Sheep on Lich, 
Jube on Magnus Slicer I don't know. On the Marana and Ryobins on Juggernaut, who looks to be going mid. These look like some fairly, some actually incredibly interesting lanes, in fact. With this guy being like the only true support I can think of who's on their team. Looks like Loader's just chilling out inside the pit. Just making sure they're not doing level 1 rush. Which they could actually be doing with like Magnus battle. and Power and Juggernaut and... Wow, actually... Wow, that's a good level 1 rush team. Lich, Juggernaut, Magnus could all contribute to a level 1 rush. So they just wanted to make sure that that wasn't a thing that was happening. Uh, as for their lanes, Juggernaut mid, that's necessary. So otherwise you'd have, like, I don't know who mid. You'd have dual carry lanes, basically. But this looks to be... This is a jungle Magnus? Let's get this farce I mean, over I've with. seen videos of this, but... I don't know if it's actually a thing that people do. This looks to be a jungle Magnus, maybe. And then we have a Marana safe lane hot carry. So these are some really interesting lanes. You're not obviously having to go mid, because that's the best option for that. And he will be facing up against Storm Spirit. So, this will be quite the interesting mid matchup. I think Storm it's favored to Storm Spirit because one, he's melee, and two, he's really good at um at uh, living. Especially once he hits level six. Before level six, uh, not so much, but once he hits level six, it should be fine. Juggernaut, gonna go ahead and run him down. I really think they could have killed this guy and he could have gone boots first and then that would have been their first blood maybe. And then we have an Animal Bulldog on offlane Elder Titan. I really have never seen Animal Bulldog play anything other than the four heroes that were banned out. So, yeah. Loader of course, on Double side, he'll be damage. happy to farm up. And up against the Timosaur. What is going on? So this is a support Magnus, I was right. Who went in power level 1. What? And it's the dual lane mid. These are the most confusing lanes I have ever seen. Like, seriously. It's like a semi-jungle mag. Ow. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. Oh, this might be our first blood. And it will be. Wow. Okay, so... Uh, Jube getting a little too low in the jungle there with his jungle mag. Arcade just comes along and says, Yep, I'll have that kill with some help from Admiral Bulldog and the ridiculous cast range of Astral Spirit. He just had to, like, walk to, like, around about here, and then he could cast it and get that extra nuke out and the natural order for the bonus damage. And yeah, he's still doing jungle magnus. This is really weird and interesting. I think, I think Arke knows that not jungle magnus is continuing to happen. Continuing to happen. So he's just gonna send his centaur over to try and harass him. Meanwhile, over at mid, uh, it seems like Ryu Boys is just spinning to clear up those creeps. He's going for a. A 2 1 1 build. This is interesting. Normally, you see Juggernauts going for a, a 2 1 in stats build, and normally it'll just be like 1 stats 1 2 or stats again, and then that, and then yeah. And they're also doing this dual lane, which is kind of. I can see the point of it because this is a slow. So you do this slow. This guy's got 295 move speed. This guy's got 305 move speed. That's without boots. They're, well, they're both without boots, but still. So he gets slowed, and then what happens is Juggernaut just starts spinning, and he can't really. Spin, especially if Juggernaut the wind can get from some their boots sails. Face it. You're early. Meanwhile, EGM is just stacking and pulling for his experience to go down here, while Loader just is completely content to farm up these creeps to get them monies. Yep. On the career we just had a bottle delivered for I'm a Sheep. I believe that is I'm a Sheep's bottle. 
Oh no, it's Ray it's Ryubor's borrows. So I guess he's letting him borrow his bottle. In the meantime, uh, he's gonna go bottle off a regen. That's pretty good. Yeah. So this is how you play this. I I know. Basically, what you do is you get some levels of empower, and then you stack a creep a bunch of times, camp a bunch of times, and then skew on the high ground and slowly clear it while you can't get attacked by the creeps. Which, it's weird, and it's interesting, and it kind of works, and it's, it's cool. It's cool to see this being something other than a, oh, it's just used in a niche pub scenario. So I'm gonna actually bring it to the stage at MLG. Uh, it's very slow though, he's only level 2, he's just about to hit level 3, he only has 600 gold. He also fed first blood, or gave up first blood, I won't say he fed it. So, I don't know if this is working out too well for them, but also, uh, Admiral Bulldog on the other Titan, he seems to be doing okay. Like, for someone whose hero pool is basically limited to three, and this is probably a hero that he's like, barely ever played or not played, played in pubs, oh, that could have been so close. He's doing fairly well. Oh, okay. I don't know why he got his ult though, because he doesn't have any Echo Stomp to set it up. They're just gonna go two supports, chill in jungle. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. He'll just reach out attacking creeps though. So it's so good for him. He already has his phase on the Nice, he is at the, sitting at the top of the board. Well, that seems to be doing fairly well in this matter. Let's look at Nemoth. That's the graph I like to see top of the board. And each yem how went why and what I suppose he's gonna leap in though he's gonna kill out Juggernaut. Is EGM gonna live or EGM dies? But are they gonna have to turn two for it? Looks like Cakes he's about to go down here. He tries to deny himself from the but it's not gonna happen at the same time. Dota kills out Lich. That was crazy team fight. Dyer's bottom tower they is under attack. Almost. I know it's not a play to nachos or anything, so long before he but died. it is important to the game. Yeah. That was crazy. That was good for Alliance. I mean, they went behind, but they're basically establishing their lead. Dyer's top tower is being attacked. There we go. It's just gonna get some damage up on him. It's interesting. He's got a bottle on a safe plane hard carry Marana. It's like bottles all over the place. S4, meanwhile, is doing quite well. I don't think Pretty Boy Swag's doing too uh, good in this situation, I have to say. Like, they were doing okay up until that fight. Like, one kill on your jungle Magnus. That's not that big of a deal, right? Just one kill. Then they like and yeah. But then they had this one where there was the hard carry involved, the mid involved, a support involved, and the support only belly like, Stuff's happening. Looks like GM's trying to get killed. Oh, what I missed! Then, almost getting killed. He does in fact get killed with an Omni Slash. <laughs> Meanwhile, S4 just cleans him off afterwards. Um, I don't know if that was really worth it. I think. Maybe. Like, they're behind, so any kills helps. Any kills help. That was just a kill on a Crystal Maiden. And you used Omni Slash for it, and they died. I don't really think that that was worth it. Dyer has fortified Mario. instructions. Oh, he's just gonna farm up. He's already got his Midas. Dyer's top tower is under siege. He also wanted to face Boots and put Orb of Venom so he could fight early on, which has clearly paid off. It's a nice setup. Uh, Dyer's top yeah. tower is under Meanwhile, attack. Meanwhile, Admiral Bulldog's so gonna that. be pushing out top with his gigantic briefcase of Doom, and the Astro Spirit's gonna return. Doing him quite a bit of damage, actually. It's pretty nice. Uh. You know, Lotus thinking of going on cakes. I don't know that he can. Probably could. Probably be risky, but he could. He 
could at least throw some auto attacks on him. Hey, Whoa. Nicely done. Storm Spirit go down mid. Sorry, I missed that. I like heard the ult. Uh, looks like he got hit by both a Q and an ult, and then a Blade Fury, and then Morana arrowed him or something. I don't know. And then that's how they killed him. Yeah. Oh, look at the triple die. Boros. Messing up a little there. Murder spree. Loader just comes and cleans up Lich. He was like spinning and he was like. Dyer's and then started moving back around. He, it must have been pathing. Like he must have been like clicking either. like here. And then he accidentally like clicked onto the tower and it like over here slightly and it. Radiant's moved him. bottom tower is being attacked. I've had that happen, so I won't blame him. Meanwhile, Swan Spirit Stormford is just gonna kill the jungle Magnus. I don't think this was wise of them to pick this jungle Magnus. Don't be level 5, and 10 minutes him. Very little gold. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Multiple trips back to base. So, yeah. I don't think this is working. Out too good for Drew Bay. It's certainly so good. Meanwhile, you boys, it's just fun up with. This isn't going too well for them. They're mid and they're hard carry. The three cores aren't really going too great. And. Radiance Middle Tower is under yeah. attack. They're not out of it yet, because they have that Wombo combo. That they could always use. Morana getting low somewhere. Because jungling. Uh, if they can pull off the wombo combo. He's going for a bracer. Probably jumps, actually, I'd say. <clears throat> uh, if they can pull off the wombo combo, then they're gonna get back, back into the game. I have a feeling. At least. But they'd have to do it early. They'd have to do it before the they hit the point where it's like one team fight isn't gonna make that much of a difference anymore. Because wombo combos, generally after you do it once, it's not going to pay off. They'd have to like do it once, and they'd have to like bring them up to a tied eight kills, and then they wouldn't have. They'd have to like not die anymore after that. Good night. Oh, this guy look. Yeah, he looks. Dead. He's going to leap though, and it's just going to be a mea to send him on his way. Meanwhile, Loda, I don't know if he knows Jubei is here. I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. He's just gonna be farming creeps. By the way, he's got his RP up now. So, that's a thing we can be expecting to see soon. That's what I was gonna get. Devadrin probably thinking of going on either Cakes or Morana or Dyer's bottom tower is under Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. Vortex with the actual actual spirit giving him vision. He gets it. He barely Very, very Dyer's bottom tower has been destroyed. This isn't looking too good for Pretty Boy Swag right here. They are getting decent farm, I'd say. Like, yeah, they're farming okay, but they're not winning fights, and they're getting picked off incredibly easily. An alliance isn't really... I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. I think I'm dead for it. Murder spree. The ult... Dyer's top tower is being attacked. Maybe. They're already taking their tier 2 top. It's only 12 minutes. Meanwhile, Juggernaut kills off Crystal Man and someone else on the map. Uh, Dyer's top more, tower think, is under attack. I think if we were to look. Okay, so three of the four kills. Dyer's top tower has been destroyed. Uh, uh, Radiant's middle tower uh, is under yeah. siege. The five position, I believe. Crystal Maiden. This one's gonna get stuck. Little it up. Magnus. That is not looking nice. This jungle mag. Dyer's middle about tower it, is being I, attacked. It was like, it was like and Dyer's structures have been fortified. Doing the best for them, I'd have to say. Dyer's middle tower is under right. attack. No, he's gonna Wait, live. maybe they're not actually uh, damaging it. Then they are. Oh, 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 oh,
crazy. They were in the middle of nowhere. They had no idea where that was coming from. That freaking Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Where was he? Like, Dyer's like, middle tower is under attack. Dominating. Whining now. And S4 just goes, he's getting more kills. This isn't looking too good for Pretty Boy. Dyer's bottom to tower is under siege. And someone is getting sent back, but I can't click on him. There we go. It was Loader. Loader got quite well, low because he had some unlucky bounces with Chain Frost. He's already sitting at 1000 HP and quite a bit of items with 8000 net worth. And Ake is on his way to. Has his mech, I do believe. Do a check his inventory. Yeah, he okay, has his mech. So this isn't looking too good. It's pretty boy swag. They even have a mech. Dyer's middle tower is under siege. No, they are not. Timbersaw's innate survivability not really helping out there against Life Stealer because he was perma stunned. Pretty much, and Life Stealer just feasted off of him and did a billion. It looks like RK might get caught out here. Oh, or the courier. If Radiance courier has fallen. The courier was about to survive. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. That was a bad situation. Dyer's bottom that tower courier? is under attack. Had a mech on it. Those people had families. I guess he got Omni Slashed. Looks like he did appear to get Omni Slashed. He's gonna go in, are they gonna be able to kill each other? Oh, but the entire team gets this. The only Emerald Good Officer had a torn up. Yuri Goros is gonna get cleaned up by Luna and Arke. And it looks like they're going to that situation. No, they're getting slowed out, but they get four stuff forwards. And immediately turn into an RP, and this could be big. No, but the arm, Loda turns on the armlet and starts chasing up the Dome Man. Dome Man is triple okay homicide. with a triple kill for Alliance. That was very Radiance bad. Radiance top they tower got a kill is under attack. That fight and a kill on, I believe, Crystal Maiden. But other than that, no, and they almost killed Loda as well. This was a... a Almost an amazingly good fight for them. That RP was good, the Dyer's Mirana middle tower was good being with attacked. a force stop immediate reaction. Lich is on his way to a mech and the courier for Alliance has fallen. With the mech on it, it'll be up in 30. So it shouldn't really affect it too much. S4 has an invisible. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Although he's taking a mid tower. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Magnus still around like halfway to his end. But really, if they had sent him mid, he probably would have blink by now. Maybe. Radiant's bottom tower is under siege. <laughs> this Astral Spirit is so disruptive. So Radiant's bottom blink, tower is being attacked. Blink, oh, Admiral Bulldog Dyer's has middle tower is under siege. Unstoppable. Loda gets a solo kill. <laughs> no, not solo kill. A kill with a S4 at top. Oh. Yeah. Radiant's said, bottom tower is under siege. This on you. And then it's going to disrupt the blink dagger for three Radiant's seconds. Radiant's bottom tower is and being attacked. Is is this part of an elaborate trap you're going to spring on them later? Because it looks like they're really falling. Radiant structures have been fortified. Radiant's bottom tower is under siege. So yeah. Currently... Radiant's bottom tower is being attacked. S4 comes on in immediately... And yeah, he's getting cleaned up. Blown this away! About that. J.O. or Jule. Looks like he was coming in to help. Still, he's still so far away from his blink dagger. It's just crazy. Jungle Mag isn't working out. Who's our sitting on the Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It looks like they've just been 
dancing around mid. This is like a typical pub game, just lets them dance around the mid for 20 minutes. And we'll be the Definitely, Alliance is going to be winning this because Animal Bulldog has the Astral Spirit to so give them vision. Dio's bottom and tower is under guy's... siege. Dio has fortified its structures. Oh, no! So, Chile, 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 Alliance certainly getting the most out of this engagement because they have this order titan. Oh, Egypt's gonna eat an arrow. They have this order titan who can just continuously spam this ability and they can't do anything about it. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Much what's gonna end up happening? They take what tower? Pretty Boy Swag has lost all their towers while Alliance's tier 1s still stand. All their. Exterior base tower. And Alliance is How sweet. Dyer's middle tower is oh. being attacked. Sl slow say. Slay slow say. Slow say, slow say. Thinking about throwing his arrow. Get about it. Oh, and he's gonna hit S4. He's gonna just clip him, but they can't really use him. Oh, Jonathan's I don't know that's gonna kill anyone, so this is really unlikely. Uh, yeah. I don't attacked. know if there's any comfort back on this. Pretty boy swag is not doing too good. It's 25 in favor of Alliance. And yeah, GG scored by Ryu Boy. Crystal Maiden, EGM, does a torn in it. Victory dance. Victory. I will probably be casting another game today. I don't know though. I'm thinking about just playing some more matches at a normal. So yeah. Thank you all for watching.